now we are going to look at the specimen of the brain. Uh, we will look it from the medial aspect, the inferior aspect and the lateral aspect. Starting from the medial aspect. First of all, we have this forebrain and uh, the hindbrain along with it inferiorly. So, in this view we can see that this structure here is the corpus callosum. Now you have to uh, find out whether it is uh, which one is the posterior end and which is the anterior end. You can also find it with the help of this occipital pole and the frontal lobe this is the dilated part anteriorly and frontal pole is the pointed end posteriorly. But if you uh, cannot recognize it uh, you can also find it with the help of corpus callosum. Uh, you know that in the anterior part we have the genu of the corpus callosum and in the posterior part we have this plenium dilated part. So uh, if you are confused uh, between anterior and the posterior ends uh, you can simply look at the genu of the corpus callosum it is anteriorly. So now uh, this is the corpus callosum this is uh, rostrum this is genu this is body and this is plenium. Below it we have the cavity of the lateral this is the cavity of the lateral ventricle. And uh, if we move uh, inferiorly, we will find out this is diencephalon and uh, this structure here, this one, this is fornix. So now uh, the diencephalon, you can uh, uh, clearly appreciate this sulcus here, this is the hypothalamic sulcus. This sulcus divides the diencephalon uh, into two parts the antero inferior part and the postero superior one. This is the antero inferior part, this is uh, the hypothalamus and this whole structure, this one is the thalamus. In the thalamus you can see this bulge here again, this is the interthalamic adhesion. If you look at the thalamus, you will find that this is the posterior end of the thalamus, see it, it is a bit dilated. We know that this is known as pulvinar, this is pulvinar and uh, in the pulvinar, in the inferior view, in the inferior uh, surface you find out two uh, swellings, one is the medial geniculate body and other is the lateral geniculate body. So if you look at this plain, uh, thalam, uh, the pulvinar, you will find that this swelling here, this is the medial geniculate body and lateral geniculate body will be deep. So uh, this is the thalamus and hypothalamus. Now uh, one structure here, this one, this is the lamina terminalis, this white color sheet and uh, this structure here. this one is representing the infundibulum. This is a bit cut, so we cannot clearly appreciate it, but it is infundibulum. And below the infundibulum, this fiber, this bundle of fibers, this is representing the optic tract. This is infundibulum and this is the optic tract. And this structure which is dangling here, this one, this is representing the olfactory tract, cut part of the olfactory tract. Now uh, the sulci and gyri, above the corpus callosum this sulcus is known as callosal sulcus, this gyrus above this callosal sulcus is the cingulate gyrus and above the cingulate gyrus again we have a sulcus this is known as the cingulate sulcus. Again this U shaped uh, structure is the paracentral lobule. Now here this is the parieto occipital sulcus and uh, this sulcus is the calcarine sulcus. We will see the inferior view. This is the temp this is the temporal lobe and this is the occipital pole. So in the temporal lobe you know that we have two sulci. First of all this sulcus here, this one in which my probe is right now going, this is the 
collateral sulcus. And medial to the collateral sulcus, this whole gyrus, this one starting from here, this is the parahippocampal gyrus. Parahippocampal gyrus. And if we will move posteriorly, this is known as lingular, ling, uh, lingular cortex. So, parahippocampal gyrus and lingular cortex. Now, another sulcus is the occipitotemporal sulcus, this one. This is the occipitotemporal sulcus. This uh, occipitotemporal sulcus, medial to it will be the occipito, medial occipitotemporal gyrus and lateral to it will be the lateral uh, occipitotemporal gyrus, which is sitting on most laterally. So, this is the inferior view of the temporal lobe. Now, going towards the lateral view. In the lateral view, uh, we will also see the sulci and gyri. First of all, this sulcus here, this sulcus, this is the central sulcus, this hole is the central sulcus. Anterior to it, there is a precentral gyrus, this one is the precentral gyrus and behind this one is the post central gyrus. Now, in front of this pre-central gyrus, there is again a sulcus, this one. This is known as pre-central sulcus. You can clearly see it is going deep inside. This is the pre-central sulcus. And uh, posterior to this post-central gyrus, this sulcus here, this one, this is no, known as the post-central sulcus central, post central and pre central. These are the sulci. Now, the lateral sulcus. This one here, this sulcus is actually the lateral sulcus and in the, lat in the temporal lobe, in the lateral view, uh, again we have the two sulci. Uh, the first one here, this one is the superior temporal sulcus and this one is the inferior temporal sulcus. This is superior temporal gyrus, middle temporal gyrus and inferior temporal gyrus. So, this is the lateral view and uh, this lobe here, this is the occipital lobe and this pointed end is the occipital pole. So, this is all about the specimen of the brain.